subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! Right guys, so this is a little special video for my baby brother, Tom Stoltman. So Tom, we're probably flying um, out to Florida now. You don't know I'm doing this, but it's a little special video just to say best of luck. Um, super proud of you, obviously the, the training you put in, I'm there every day. I've said it before and I'll say it again, it's a privilege to you know, see one of the best guys in the world train the way he does dedicate himself like you, you know, eat every meal that Nathan gives you, train the way, you know, Dan's giving you all the training programs, hitting all your lifts. It's an inspiration, you're an inspiration to me, and I know you're an inspiration to, you know, the thousands, tens of thousands of people um, that follow you and, and kind of watch you, so keep doing you. I know you're going to smash it out there. You're my number one to win World's Strongest Man this year, um, so don't let me down. Um, and. Let's just take the title back home to Scotland and I'll see you once we're done quarantine, mate. We are here to talk about the insights and stuff of World's Strongest Man and how it's a bit different this year with the situation in the world. We're flying out in two days time, so I think by the time this video will be going out, we'll be flying somewhere in the air across to Florida, so hopefully you enjoy the video. It's just a little chat, our thoughts of what's going on and we've been getting emails from World's Strongest Man you know they've been really good um, at kind of keeping us updated I think this time we've been tested on Monday we got our results back we got them all clear we fly out Saturday morning from Inverness to Heathrow Heathrow to Miami um, but they've given us like a waiver pack that basically lets us kind of fly it gives it makes us exempt from the, the kind of current lockdown rules because we're professional athletes or sporting people. So basically when we get there, I believe we've got another COVID test. Hopefully I don't spew this time. And then 24 hours of quarantine in our hotel room. But we have an Xbox <laughs> and Call of Duty. We're going to be playing Xbox for 24 hours straight. That's our prep for World's Strongest Man. Plus room service. So we're not actually allowed to leave, obviously we're having, well, it's quarantine so we're going to be restricted to our rooms only. So we're allowed to get room service, thankfully they're going to feed us, which is good. If our tests come back negative, we can then walk around the hotel. So for the full time we're out in Worlds, I believe we're confined to the hotel parameters, so we're not allowed to go out with the hotel unless we're competing. So. Um, Hopefully that doesn't get too claustrophobic. Um, I think it'll be okay. They've said they've upgraded the meals from last year. We can still get takeaways and stuff in if we want. So hopefully Nathan will throw in a few cheeky cheap meals for us. Yeah, buddy! And yeah, it's just going to be a bit strange, obviously, not having... You know, Sinead's not coming out for you. I've not got Kushi, we've not got Dad, we've not got Simon, unfortunately. But don't worry, because we're taking Simon's camera out. And we're gonna vlog. I'm not the best at vlogging things. Um, last time I did it, I had the camera the wrong way, upside down, food on my head, uh, beard. So yeah, <laughs> if you get funny looking videos, it's just me, guys. This just arrived today. So this is from the Mulligans. This is. Hope there's nothing rude on that, Jordan. I hope you clear the memory. So he's given us a little Sony camera to vlog. They better not be anything dodgy in this, Jordan. See if I'm going through customs and they're searching it and there's something a bit naughty. What's this? What's, what's that sound? It's a rat or something, is it? That's my pubes. Hey! <laughs> we're going to be vlogging for the documentary we're doing. So we'll probably vlog on the aeroplane. We've got some special things in the airport this year. One of our friends, Johnny McGregor, has very kindly um, upgraded us to business class. John owns a company, uh, Granite Recruitment. So a huge shout out to him for doing so that for it's us. So 10 hours is going to be the best eight to ten hour flight of my life. So we're going to vlog the flight, try and see what we get up to in the flight, see how many meals Tom and I can eat. See if I can still fit in a toilet in business class. <laughs> I expect it to be bigger toilets than the stupid normal one. Comment below to see if you think Tom can fit in a business class seat and comment below and see how many meals you think we can eat throughout the course. I think it's ten hours the flight is to Miami. But then obviously when we get out to Worlds there's a few guys missing so the top three from last year, Martins, Thor and Mateusz. Really? What? Why are you, 
So I'm just having already talking you can do it first. Right, I guess I'll drop the mouth on these. The top three aren't going to be there at World Strongest Man, so fourth place last year was JF Caron, then it was Tom, then Big Brian, um, then I think it was me, and then Bishop I think it was, so still so much talent there. They're just wanting to make sure that we can all get out there first. There's no guarantee that all 25 guys when will all, get there. When all 25 people touch down, that's when athletes will know and then social media will probably know. Yeah. It was really nice last night actually, quite touching. Tom and I were doing a bit of work for something we've got coming up. One of our friends, Matt, Matthew, tricked us as all, see you back in the gym. Said, yeah, yeah, cool, go back. Yeah, you little rat. So we got to the gym and the car park was heaving. Lewis um, and Cushy and Sinead and all the guys decided to um, have like a we going away kind of surprise for us. We got there and Lewis. We Lewis Sinclair, big boy but soft in the heart. Oh, he's so he's so cute. That yeah. But he he did a nice speech. It's quite nice to see that you know in the Stockman Strength Centre it's such a great community. The wee signs they signed a duck for us, some pictures. Um, it was really good. Well, the best thing for me was the cheesecakes. Thank you, Ailey. Yeah, no one needs to know about that because I had half of that last night and wow. So we're going out to World's Strongest Man to to win it. I think that's pretty obvious in our training. How you know how we are now as people, we're not going into any competition to not win it now. In Dubai, you know, we beat your Brian Shaw's, JF Caron's, all the rest of them, so, you know, we're cap capable of beating people just like they are, are of us, so it's going to be a great battle. Um, Let's just say if look at myself 100% and peaked, we are hard to beat. That's not being big-headed, but yeah, I think if we're 100% and on it and both kind of not make mistakes and stuff, we're going to be hard to beat, you know, it's especially in the final as well, good events for both of us, so yeah, we just have to kind of, like, listen to Nathan and stuff and just go out there, chill, recover, and really just, like, you know, go to the, through the qualifiers at maybe 85, 90% and then I hopefully get to the finals and really be, the finals is the day you want to feel the best and it's really where you want to feel the strongest and the mentally good, physically good, you just want to feel like you're on cloud nine and just lift good weights. Regardless if there's no crowd, um, no family there, whatever, there's still a competition environment and we'll go out and give it our, our all 100% and that's all we can do. So if we come back with the, the titles, that's in. Um, hopefully you guys will be quite happy for us too. The biggest competitor for me, I think, you know, you've got your favourites, obviously there's Big Brian. He's, you know, Vast experience, four times world's strongest man. JF Caron, who's just a beast, really good events for JF. Adam Bishop, obviously Adam beat us at Britain, so Adam's got to be up there. Luke Richardson, just won Europe's strongest man. Evan Singleton, he's looking really good. There's so many guys, and that's that's what makes it really quite open, I think, this year, that there is so many guys, and so many guys that are so confident about their own ability. So Brian's got the, the experience and the pedigree, so a lot of people are kind of you know, saying Brian's the, the number ones. I guess Brian's kind of, you know, we've got to show that we're able to keep up with Brian as much as we can, so I'd say Brian. Yeah, I like everyone to say Brian, but to be honest with you, I think it'll be the Jeff Caron's or even Novikov. Jeff Caron, like when I seen him at Worlds last year, is impressive, you know, um, overall he's got really good events, and I think he's probably the best suited for these events this year, and uh, not many people mention him, but I think he's gonna cause a lot of upsets. You know, Brian Shaw is, Obviously, one of the greatest of all times, but he's got a lot of pressure on his shoulders to get the fifth title. I think he's got the most pressure on him, so it depends if he can kind of take that and, you know, step up from last year, you know. So, uh, yeah, and then also the dark horses will be Luke Richardson, who's an amazing athlete, Adam Bishop, who's our brother from another mother, and then uh, Evan Singleton. I've always liked Evan. The way he comes across, some people don't like, but it's, it's so funny. He's such a cool guy, and uh, it's his WWE background, but he's a... Uh, it's good because he's always hungry, he wants to be the best and he'll say that in every post he does, you know, he's there to win World Strongest Man and you should be, if you're going out to World Strongest Man to say you're going to the final then you may as well go on that plane and go back home. Mm, but yes, but I think Jeff Caron is probably going to be the biggest. There's a lot of new guys as well, one day shows are different than three to four day shows, you know, everyone can turn it on in a one day show but the three or four day shows are kind of, you need to 
be able to kind of conserve energy, you know, when's best to turn on. Experience in myself and look, I've got more experience than a lot of the kind of guys going over there. So, you know, it's... And I think the bonus that Tom and I are both there together. Yeah, they're there together. You yeah. know, we train together, so I've said it before, we're each other's yes men. We shout each other on, we kind of spur each other on. A lot of the guys aren't in that same boat as us, you know, they don't have anyone there, so at least we've got each other. Obviously there's no crowd there, how that's going to affect your mindset? I think the crowds, it's not going to affect us too much because, like, Luke said, me and Luke just train together ourselves. We don't really train with, like, 20 to 30 people, you know. We've uh, we've had competition, there's not been many people there. We've had competition with loads, but I think it'll be a kind of factor when, it's like, for example, last man standing stone, events like that where, you know, you're getting tired and you use the crowd to kind of motivate you and you know, that's what I did last year get, get the crowd to make some noise and that gave me an extra two or three reps so I think like the eliminators or you know when you need it the most that's when you're going to miss it but apart from that it's for me it's kind of just like a day in the office you know it's like an event day and you're just going down with your friends to have some fun and go have it with Luke anyway so it's going to be I'm going to feel comfortable anyway you know we train every week so it's going to be just it's going to be weird but it depends if you're in that situation where you need the crowd or not. I mean, everyone loves competing in front of a crowd, so it's going to be different. Me personally, I, I'm going to miss the crowd, I'm not going to lie. I love competing in front of it. I love hearing the crowd cheer for Tom and I and, and all the other guys. It's nice because you can always go by the crowd's reaction, how well you're doing, and that you kind of take a little bit more adrenaline and energy from the crowd. Yeah, it'll be a little bit tougher, but I mean, at the end of the day, we're all in the same boat. You can just, you can only do what you can do, but. Yeah, we'll just see how it goes, I guess, with, with that. Last year to get there, we were buzzing to have Dad. Unfortunately, this year he can't come, um, but, you know, we'll be updating him every night. Can I... Um, we'll have a choice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just kind of FaceTiming him. And, I mean, that's the joy, I suppose, now, nowadays. You've got that technology where you can speak to them. So, yeah, we'll be updating him, updating Kush and Sinead, all the family. It's not the same, but... Obviously, it's it's just one of those things this year. We can't really do anything other than that. So I think he'll be missed by the crew as well because he was he's quite a good character to have around, and he, he helped helped out with the crew last year. But hopefully, we can do Dad proud, and we'll have a wee tea and a whiskey with him when, when we come home. My biggest inspiration in kind of trying to train and trying to kind of become the best in the world is I used to say it was just for me to become kind of something for myself, but. You know, I use like mum and dad as like inspirations um, to kind of do the name Stoltman proud. You know, I want Stoltman to be a legacy. If we win World Strongest Man, it gives us that platform to do more. I want to be able to do more with mental health, try and help that, kind of push that. Try and help people, you know, it's not just, we're not just strong men. Strong man gives us that platform to um, have that reach, that further reach. So winning worlds would be massive it would increase our profile <coughs> such a great deal um and it also make you know i think about dad's dad our, our opa our granddad he was such a strong man he'd be so proud of what tom and i are doing at the moment and trying to you know better ourselves and be the best in the world at something i think that leaving that legacy would be pretty cool my inspiration uh, i actually talked to like shane the other day you know for me it's it's myself because like I've got this label of autism and stuff and I think that doing what I've been doing the last few years I've kind of looked at my life and kind of seen that I can push myself to the max. Obviously you know Sinead, Luke, family is a massive massive part but you know you don't wake up and train for like, I don't go to the gym to train for Sinead, I don't go to the gym to train for Luke, I go to the train to the gym to train for myself and kind of better myself in life and stuff and yeah I just think because of the autism I think like you know I've proved a lot a lot of people kind of wrong that doubted me and I've also proved people like like people that believed in me so for the first example family uh loved ones friends and they said I could do stuff in my life and you know and I went out there myself and did it and I think just being my own kind of inspiration and stuff and saying that you know I've got a label and I'm autistic and to have a lot of boundaries but then to push past them and do something for myself is a special feeling you know I, I always get motivated now when I look back of how I used to be and kind of watch videos or see pictures of like me with my head down and kind of not being socialized sociable in school you know my first strongman competition it's kind of like I thought it was just strongman but then when you have the cameras and stuff in front of you you know it's I didn't have help there I had to just go and be like right if I want to be good at this sport if I want to 
change my life, you know, for better, for family, etc. I need to go and, you know, get uncomfortable in situations that I didn't want to be in. And that's for me just my biggest inspiration is to kind of see how good like Luke's done in the sport, how good I'm doing in the sport now, and just kind of I want to just wake up every day and kind of be like, right, I'm motivated. I'm motivate myself. I just motivate myself to go to the gym and just better myself every day, you know. Obviously, I do this as well for, you know, mum who also was our biggest supporter, Sinead, family. I'd even do it for Simon, you know, he's part of the Stoughton brothers. But for me, I think it's just me because obviously of what, like I said, the autism, you know, it's it's a disability that you can't see and people think, oh, Tom's just a normal guy and, you know, worked hard. But I have worked hard, but also it's just that label and that boundaries you had to cross. You know, I'm happy with what I've done, but it just sounds selfish. But to me, I'm, the, I'm my own biggest inspiration, I think, you know. Me not working offshore in the oil rigs, that's really enabled me to kind of further the business side of things. And then for my training, you know, I think everyone can see how much my training's kind of come up um, size-wise, physically, mentally, uh, my strength has gone up um, tenfold, I think, over the last kind of, probably the last year since I made that decision not to go back offshore. So it's huge. And again, I've, I've talked about it a few times. It's It was a hard decision for me to make to kind of give up that kind of income that I was getting um, working offshore, working in oil rigs, and kind of take that leap, to, leap of faith really to go into business with Tom, you know, start up the own business and kind of think, oh, you know, I was, it was tough for me because it's like, what if, what if it doesn't work? What if we don't succeed in business? What if we don't have that financial income? I'm hoping this time next year, you know, we can buy Dada, you pick up, kind of look after him in that sense and, and kind of any competition we do, we take Dad out with us. Um, and, and being able to spend more quality time now with, with my family, which is um, so important to me. We've got 100k subscribers coming up soon and we're going to give Simon a bonus, but we're going to let you guys decide. Comment below what we should get our spicy high cholesterol, Simon, for his bonus. Well that's us, so as we said, we'll probably be flying on a plane out to World's Strongest Man at the moment. Thank you for all your support, the messages, you know, your sharing, whatever else you're doing, it really does mean a lot. All you guys that are buying the merchandise, that's awesome to see. All you little spicy buddies out there, thank you so much. Please keep liking the videos, keep commenting, whatever comments you want to put, just fire down. And guys, give us a wave if you see us in the air. Stay safe, spicy. Stay s smile, stay safe. Stay safe, smile, stay spicy. For a time lucky. I keep ringing that little bell. Ding dong, dingy dingy dong dong. Ding ding. <laughs>